Nehemiah chapter 8 All the people gathered together into the square before the water gate. They told the scribe Ezra to bring the book of the law of Moses, which the Lord had given to Israel. Accordingly, the priest Ezra brought the law before the assembly, both men and women, and all who could hear with understanding. This was on the first day of the seventh month. He read from it facing the square before the water gate, from early morning until midday, in the presence of the men and the women and those who could understand, and the ears of all the people were attentive to the book of the law. The scribe Ezra stood on a wooden platform that had been made for the purpose, and beside him stood Mattathiah, Shema, Anaiah, Uriah, Hilkiah, and Masaiah on his right hand, and Pedaiah, Mishael, Malkijah, Hashum, Hashbadana, Zechariah, and Meshulam on his left hand. And Ezra opened the book in the sight of all the people, for he was standing above all the people. And when he opened it, all the people stood up. Then Ezra blessed the Lord, the great God, and all the people answered, Amen, Amen, lifting up their hands. Then they bowed their heads and worshipped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Also Jeshua, Bani, Sherebiah, Jamin, Akub, Shabbatai, Hodiah, Messiah, Kelida, Azariah, Josabad, Hanan, Peleiah, the Levites, helped the people to understand the law, while the people remained in their places. So they read from the book, from the law of God, with interpretation. They gave the sense so that the people understood the reading. And Nehemiah, who was the governor, and Ezra the priest and scribe, and the Levites who taught the people, said to all the people, This day is holy to the Lord your God. Do not mourn or weep. For all the people wept when they heard the words of the law. Then he said to them, Go your way. Eat the fat, and drink sweet wine, and send portions of them to those for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy to our Lord, and do not be grieved, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. So the Levites stilled all the people, saying, Be quiet, for this day is holy, do not be grieved. And all the people went their way to eat and drink, and to send portions, and to make great rejoicing because they had understood the words that were declared to them. On the second day, the heads of ancestral houses of all the people, with the priests and the Levites, came together to the scribe Ezra in order to study the words of the law. And they found it written in the law, which the Lord had commanded by Moses, that the people of Israel should live in booths during the festival of the seventh month and that they should publish and proclaim in all their towns and in Jerusalem as follows. Go out to the hills and bring branches of olive, wild olive, myrtle, palm, and other leafy trees to make booths, as it is written. So the people went out and brought them and made booths for themselves, each on the roofs of their houses and in their courts and in the courts of the house of God and in the square at the water gate and in the square at the gate of Ephraim. And all the assembly of those who had returned from the captivity made booths and lived in them. For from the days of Jeshua, son of Nun, to that day the people of Israel had not done so. And there was very great rejoicing. And day by day, from the first day to the last day, he read from the book of the law of God. They kept the festival seven days. And on the eighth day there was a solemn assembly, according to the ordinance. Nehemiah chapter 9 Now on the twenty-fourth day of this month the people of Israel were assembled with fasting and in sackcloth, and with earth on their heads. Then those of Israelite descent separated themselves from all foreigners, and stood and confessed their sins and the iniquities of their ancestors. They stood up in their place and read from the book of the law of the Lord their God for a fourth part of the day, and for another fourth they made confession and worshipped the Lord their God. 
then Jeshua, Bani, Kadmiel, Shebaniah, Buni, Sherebiah, Bani, and Chenani stood on the stairs of the Levites and cried out with a loud voice to the Lord their God. Then the Levites, Jeshua, Kadmiel, Bani, Hashabiniah, Sherebiah, Hodiah, Shebaniah, and Pethahiah said, Stand up and bless the Lord your God from everlasting to everlasting. Blessed be your glorious name, which is exalted above all blessing and praise. And Ezra said, You are the Lord, you alone. You have made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them. To all of them you give life, and the host of heaven worships you. You are the Lord, the God who chose Abram and brought him out of Ur of the Chaldeans, and gave him the name Abraham. And you found his heart faithful before you, and made with him a covenant to give to his descendants the land of the Canaanite, the Hittite, the Amorite, the Perizzite, the Jebusite, and the Girgashite. And you have fulfilled your promise, for you are righteous. And you saw the distress of our ancestors in Egypt and heard their cry at the Red Sea. You performed signs and wonders against Pharaoh and all his servants and all the people of his land, for you knew that they acted insolently against our ancestors. You made a name for yourself, which remains to this day, and you divided the sea before them so that they passed through the sea on dry land. But you threw their pursuers into the depths like a stone into mighty waters. Moreover, you led them by day with a pillar of cloud and by night with a pillar of fire to give them light on the way in which they should go. You came down also upon Mount Sinai and spoke with them from heaven and gave them right ordinances and true laws, good statutes and commandments, and you made known your holy Sabbath to them and gave them commandments and statutes and a law through your servant Moses. For their hunger you gave them bread from heaven, and for their thirst you brought water for them out of the rock, and you told them to go in to possess the land that you swore to give them. But they and our ancestors acted presumptuously and stiffened their necks and did not obey your commandments. They refused to obey and were not mindful of the wonders that you performed among them, but they stiffened their necks and determined to return to their slavery in Egypt. But you are a God ready to forgive, gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, and you did not forsake them. Even when they had cast an image of a calf for themselves and said, This is your God who brought you up out of Egypt and had committed great blasphemies. You in your great mercies did not forsake them in the wilderness. The pillar of cloud that led them in the way did not leave them by day, nor the pillar of fire by night that gave them light on the way by which they should go. You gave your good spirit to instruct them and did not withhold your manna from their mouths and gave them water for their thirst. Forty years you sustained them in the wilderness, so that they lacked nothing. Their clothes did not wear out, and their feet did not swell. And you gave them kingdoms and peoples, and allotted to them every corner. So they took possession of the land of King Sahan of Heshbon, and the land of King Og of Bashan. You multiplied their descendants like the stars of heaven, and brought them into the land that you had told their ancestors to enter and possess. So the descendants went in and possessed the land, and you subdued before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gave them into their hands with their kings and the peoples of the land to do with them as they pleased. And they captured fortress cities and a rich land and took possession of houses filled with all sorts of goods, hewn cisterns, vineyards, olive orchards, and fruit trees in abundance. So they ate and were filled and became fat, and delighted themselves in your great goodness. 
Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against you and cast your law behind their backs and killed your prophets, who had warned them in order to turn them back to you, and they committed great blasphemies. Therefore, you gave them into the hands of their enemies, who made them suffer. Then, in the time of their suffering, they cried out to you, and you heard them from heaven. And according to your great mercies, you gave them saviors who saved them from the hands of their enemies. But after they had rest, they again did evil before you, and you abandoned them to the hands of their enemies, so that they had dominion over them. Yet when they turned and cried to you, you heard from heaven, and many times you rescued them according to your mercies. And you warned them in order to turn them back to your law. Yet they acted presumptuously and did not obey your commandments, but sinned against your ordinances by the observance of which a person shall live. They turned a stubborn shoulder and stiffened their neck and would not obey. Many years you were patient with them and warned them by your spirit through your prophets. Yet they would not listen. Therefore you handed them over to the peoples of the lands. Nevertheless, in your great mercies you did not make an end of them or forsake them, for you are a gracious and merciful God. Now, therefore, our God, the great and mighty and awesome God, keeping covenant and steadfast love, do not treat lightly all the hardship that has come upon us, upon our kings, our officials, our priests, our prophets, our ancestors, and all your people, since the time of the kings of Assyria until today. You have been just in all that has come upon us, for you have dealt faithfully and we have acted wickedly. Our kings, our officials, our priests, and our ancestors have not kept your law or heeded the commandments and the warnings that you gave them. Even in their own kingdom, and in the great goodness you bestowed on them, and in the large and rich land that you set before them, they did not serve you and did not turn from their wicked works. Here we are, slaves to this day, slaves in the land that you gave to our ancestors to enjoy its fruit and its good gifts. Its rich yield goes to the kings whom you have set over us because of our sins. They have power also over our bodies and over our livestock at their pleasure, and we are in great distress. Because of all this, we make a firm agreement in writing, and on that sealed document are inscribed the names of our officials, our Levites, and our priests. Nehemiah chapter 10 Upon the sealed document are the names of Nehemiah the governor, son of Hakaliah, and Zedekiah, Saraiah, Azariah, Jeremiah, Pashur, Amariah, Malkijah, Hattush, Shebaniah, Maluk, Haram, Miramoth, Obadiah, Daniel, Ginnathon, Baruch, Meshalam, Abijah, Mijamin, Maaziah, Bilgai, Shimeiah. These are the priests. And the Levites, Jeshua, son of Azaniah, Benui of the sons of Hinadad, Cadmiel, and their associates, Shebaniah, Hodiah, Kalida, Peleiah, Hanan, Micah, Rehob, Hashabiah, Zakur, Sherebiah, Shebaniah, Hodiah, Bani, and Beninu. The leaders of the people, Parash, Pehath Moab, Elam, Zatu, Bani, Buni, Asgad, Bibai, Adonijah, Bigvai, Adon, Atter, Hezekiah, Azur, Hodiah, Hashum, Bezai, Harif, Anathoth, Nebai, Magpiosh, Meshalam, Hezer, Meshezabel, Zadok, Jadua, Pelatiah, Hanan, Ananiah, Hoshia, Hananiah, Hashub, Halohesh, Pilha, Shobek, Rehum, Hashabna, Masaiah, Ahiah, Hanan, Anan, Maluk, Harim, and Bana. 
the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the gatekeepers, the singers, the temple servants, and all who have separated themselves from the peoples of the lands to adhere to the law of God, their wives, their sons, their daughters, all who have knowledge and understanding, join with their kin, their nobles, and enter into a curse and an oath to walk in God's law, which was given by Moses, the servant of God, and to observe and do all the commandments of the Lord, our Lord, and his ordinances and his statutes. We will not give our daughters to the peoples of the land or take their daughters for our sons. And if the peoples of the land bring in merchandise or any grain on the Sabbath day to sell, we will not buy it from them on the Sabbath or on a holy day. And we will forego the crops of the seventh year and the exaction of every debt. We also lay on ourselves the obligation to charge ourselves yearly one-third of a shekel for the service of the house of our God, for the rows of bread, the regular grain offering, the regular burnt offering, the Sabbaths, the new moons, the appointed festivals, the sacred donations, and the sin offerings to make atonement for Israel and for all the work of the house of our God. We have also cast lots among the priests, the Levites, and the people for the wood offering to bring it into the house of our God by ancestral houses at appointed times year by year to burn on the altar of the Lord our God as it is written in the law. We obligate ourselves to bring the first fruits of our soil and the first fruits of all fruit of every tree, year by year, to the house of the Lord, also to bring to the house of our God to the priests who minister in the house of our God. The firstborn of our sons and of our livestock, as it is written in the law, and the firstlings of our herds and of our flocks, and to bring the first of our dough, and our contributions, the fruit of every tree, the wine and the oil, to the priests, to the chambers of the house of our God, and to bring to the Levites the tithes from our soil, for it is the Levites who collect the tithes in all our rural towns. And the priest, the descendant of Aaron, shall be with the Levites when the Levites receive the tithes, And the Levites shall bring up a tithe of the tithes to the house of our God, to the chambers of the storehouse. For the people of Israel and the sons of Levi shall bring the contribution of grain, wine, and oil to the storerooms, where the vessels of the sanctuary are, and where the priests that minister and the gatekeepers and the singers are. We will not neglect the house of our God.